got any smokes. Just two left. Lucky day. What do they call you, rookie? A ten! Huh. All right, you maggots, listen up! Jeff. How'd you know I was a rookie? Oh, well, welcome to the party. Looks like you're the only man out of that last firefight alive. First kill. How'd you know? Look at you. You're still feeling bad about it. Too bad you didn't have time to get past that. Such a breathtaking act. Didn't have time? <laughs> you don't actually think they're just gonna pass by this place and assume it's empty, do you? You've killed what? One man in self-defense? Then we've got pistols. Not exactly a fair fight against 30, 40 men, huh? Well, I've got a lot more faith in me than you do, so... What are you doing out here by yourself, anyway? This place gives me an excuse to exercise my lack of faith. Besides, we're all going to hell as far as I'm concerned. Killing's killing. There's an exception to every rule. And there's always forgiveness. Really? Or is that just what you tell yourself? God's not here to help us win this war. There's nothing religious in this war. It's about blowing them up before they blow us up. Did you ever think that they're just as scared as we are? That they're only doing what they're doing because they have to? But we're all actually fighting to prevent a nuclear war? I mean, it's, it's human nature to do what it takes to survive. See, I want to see the bombs drop. I want every corner of this world doused in radiation. That's why I'm here test human survival. By seeing everything destroyed? How else can you test survival? Roaches, rats, bacteria, all considered the best survivalists on the planet. But mankind, now we've survived wars and the plague. But why? Miracles? Immunities? Maybe. But why? It's because it's in our genetic code to persevere. Our will to survive. If this war turns nuclear, we can spin it surviving and be the ones that lead us to a new world. Now what's more beautiful than that? <clears throat> I'd rather this conflict just end quick and peacefully and get the hell out of here so I don't wind up like you. We're fighting to prevent and survive through the threat of nuclear war without actually having to experience it. Why not support your country and fight for its survival rather than watching countless millions die? Ah <laughs> oh, yes. Life and liberty. Country and ally to protect and serve. Wasn't it Kennedy that said, let every nation know, whether it wishes us well or ill, that we will pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, 
support any friend or oppose any foe to assure the survival and success of liberty. Does it mean anything anymore? You know, you can move anywhere, fight for any country. Why did you decide to stay and fight for us? I mean, I'm sure as hell here for the cause to see the success of liberty. What's so naive about that? Everything I have has been because of me. Not any freedoms attributed to where I live at the time. It just lines on the map. Life is one big game of risk. You don't matter in all this. I don't matter in all this. All I can do is sway events one way or the other. You can believe there's no reason for countries. You can spout off all the survival rates of mankind, but it still doesn't change the fact that we're in this situation right now. You were right about human perseverance, but let's just make it through to see which side of mankind actually wins in your little game of chess. Let's just say for a second that you just inspired me. You can still only affect your own future. As far as I can tell, head up in the shack in the woods, well, we don't have much of a future. Or what if we were to go out there and change what happened, to survive and live our lives? What then? It would just be another survival. And another, until we can't push anymore. From every day a small lever just to live. <coughs> <coughs> Why do you think we want to see it all fall? Are you okay, old man? You know, if I don't make it, you know, we're just two casualties, two statistics. Nobody will even notice that we're gone. Maybe for a while. And nobody but our families will even hear our name amongst the dead. And as we sit in here, and this war ends, well, <laughs> well, we've lost. What do we have to go back to then, huh? What will have been the point? We're as mortal as the ideas that we've been talking about. I only want to see an end to war. I only want to see home again. To be able to call home, home again. You know, this is the hell of war. To be stuck in this asylum with a fucking lunatic. I came here for the people I care about. For those that can't do anything. To put an end to violence when there's no need for violence. And maybe I am going to hell when I die for killing men over here. But I can feel forgiveness for what I've done. To know that I've fought to put a stop to global war. And maybe that is a made-up, self-serving forgiveness, and maybe... Maybe there is no God. But you have been in hell for so long already, that you can't see the light in anything. I'm gonna wait for the gunfire to stop. I'm gonna leave. You can do what you want.
When I first started fighting and killing, I would always check every body of the men I killed. So many of them kept pictures of their families, wives, girlfriends. Too many to count. I guess it's a normal thing to keep those close to your heart. Close. Every time I found another one, I'd pick it up, collect it as a trophy, put it away, maybe throw them out later. Do something with them. The point is, is I was laughing at them. I laughed at them. Seems pointless now, but there were hundreds of those pictures. Always someone smiling back at you. I'll have those faces with me forever. I've killed those men and I'll have their loved ones with me forever. Your point is? My point is yes, I've been in hell. But I've made my peace with that. Those men use their loved ones to protect them. Maybe inspire them. But instead they inspired me to kill more and find more photos to create stories in my mind of what those men were like. What the people in those photos were like. It inspired me to live on. That is the hell of war. You can denounce my love for killing. But without darkness, where would this world be? Major achievement comes from the face of utter annihilation. Don't you fucking ever forget that. We're sitting here talking about the fertility of war and I don't see you going out there and join the fight. Let's just get out of here. There is no walking out of here. I did just die like us. Violence is violence. War is war. Peace is an idea and war is a fact. As long as violence exists, peace will never exist. Just put it down. <laughs> 